Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we're gonna you look know, at custom formatting. I have they gave me a question, and the question was: we have a list of range of holidays here, and also we have another range which shows the dates of the year. We want to go into this dates of the year, check each of these dates. If this date is in the holiday list, we highlight that value. We go to the next and so on. 16th January, is it in the list of holidays? And if so, and this is here, therefore it highlights that. So all the holidays that are on this list are gonna be highlighted in here. That's what we are gonna want to achieve. Let's jump it into it without wasting any more time. So first of all, let me create my list. I'm gonna use the sequency function. So I want 365 days. Those are the rows I want, 365. Why 365? Because they're 365 in 2023. Next, I need one column. Next, the start date, which is my start date. And my start date is 2023. The month is January and the day is fast. By how much should I increment from one day to the next? I want to increment by one, so that I have the full list of all the dates in the year. So when I do that, you can see I get numbers, but all that needed here to show the dates, I need to use the format on my tab on top, run to number formatting, then date formatting. So when I do that, you can see my dates are properly formatted. So the next thing I have to do is to check whether this date is on this list, whether this date is on this list. If it is on that list, then I'll use that custom formula that checks that in my conditional formatting. So before I go into the conditional formatting, let's first see how the formula works. So I'm gonna use the match function and it takes a search key. This is my search key, the what the value I'm searching for. Next is the range. Where am I searching this range? This is my range. I need to fix this one because I'm gonna copy my function down so that it does not get disorganized. Next, I need to tell it that I want an exact match by adding a zero at the end. So when I do that, you can see I get one. And what does the one mean? One means that it has searched for this one into this range and found it at position one. That's what the match function does. So with that, I double click here, copy all the one all the way down. So let's look for 16th of January and see where what it gives us. So when I got 16th of January, it gives me two. Why does it two? Say two, it is because 16th of January is in the second position this is first position, this is the second position, and so on. So if you go to the 20th of Feb, you'll find position three. Now, have you found this? Now this one returns one or NA, but to use my custom function in conditional formatting, it needs to return true and falses, but not numbers and NA. So I need to think of a way how to convert this one and NA into true and false. So one way to do that is use the is number function. What the is number function does, it checks whether the value given to it is a number or, and if it is a number, it return true. And if it's not a number, it return false. So when I do that, you can see the first value returns true. So I need to do this, control down, then go up again. So when I do that, you can see 1st of January is true. Why is it true? Because it has found it in this list here. So when I go to 16th of January right here, you can see it also returns true. Now, having got this, I need to copy this. Can actually cut it. I don't need this one here. I need to highlight the data that I'm gonna use. Go under formatting, click on conditional formatting, 
it has correctly selected the range. I need to select the custom formula, which is this one. Then I type it here. I need to lock the column. Then when I go down, I need which color do I want the holidays to be highlighted in. So if I want color yellow or any other color that you want, I select orange here and say done. When I do that, all my holidays, you can see 25th of January, 25th of January is Christmas day and it is highlighted. First January is a new year day and it's also highlighted. 16th of January is Martin Luther day. Let's go to 16th of January. There you go. So all the holidays that are on this list have been highlighted in my range. So this is how you can use condition formatting and the custom formula to select the holidays and highlight them as well. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, please like the video and see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching my videos and you're not subscribing. Have a great day.